This video shows how to set up the production printing of your counter site after you've set up your printers. We're here in our sites menu under printers and we can see that we've already set up a few printers within this site, juice station, kitchen, register one, and that we're using the counter app printing method. Now the method for setting up production printing is the same irrespective of which method you're using unless you're using a method that doesn't support production printing. Now the first choice we have to make about our production printing setup is whether we want all of our items that we sell to print production dockets to all of our different printers or whether we want printer item specific printing where certain items print to certain printers. So maybe your food to the kitchen, your coffees to the barista, uh, and maybe in this example, your juices to the juice station. So we'll select printer item specific, we'll hit save, that will save our production printing selection there. Now for each of our printers we can click on the shopping cart here and assign certain products to the certain printer. So for our kitchen printer we'd like maybe our breakfasts, all of our food, all of our pizza, our pizza additions and subtractions as well and then maybe we'd also like some of our spirits, not all of them. So what we can do spirits that are kept at the back, we can tick those and anytime those are sold they'll go directly to the kitchen but the others in this category won't. So we can select a full category by ticking the category or open up the category with this arrow here and select individual items. Once we've finished our selection we can press save. Now the next thing that we might like to do after we've assigned all of our products to all of our printers here is maybe have a certain docket printing twice. Say the kitchen, there are two stations that go to making a certain meal and we'd like a second docket to print for a specific item. What we can do is we can add a printer a second time. So I'm going to add kitchen here, call it kitchen2 and I'll enter the IP address exactly the same as the other kitchen printer. So you can see here we have two that are 202 Ah, uh, kitchen printer's 201, so we'll change that one there, and then press save. Now with our second kitchen printer that we've set up here, it'll print to exactly the same printer, because the IP address is the same, but we can have different rules for this second printer. So for kitchen 2, we might have the second dockets only printing certain food items. So our bacon and egg panini, both the, uh, the guy doing the toast and the guy doing the bacon need to know about it, so we'll print two dockets for that one, two for our BLT, two for our brekkie bre roll and our chicken and mayo panini, but our antipasto plate, we don't need to worry about it. So you can see there you can have two dockets with separate rules printing from the same printer. The beauty about this as well is that in between each of these dockets, the printer itself will cut that docket. So you'll have all of the items here print on one and then the printer will cut and then you'll have all of your items here printing on the second. So it's very easy to split them up in an environment. Uh, you might have your coffee machine very close to your juice station, so all of your juices and coffees print to that printer, but you want them separated. So you can have them set up as two separate dockets, as we've set up here. And that's more or less how you set up production printing within a counter venue. If you have any additional questions, please email support at counter.com.